Hey, it's a good day. I hope wherever you happen to be, that is the case because it is where I am. I hope you're having a good day and all is well with you and love to share even more content about leadership and leadership development with you today. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to put the focus today on what it would be like once you come into that opportunity to lead a project or lead a team within your organization. And remember, you're already a leader as an employee, as well as as a manager. You don't have the title, the overall title and responsibility of the individual who is the leader by title, but you're still a leader in your own right. So I'm glad that you're with me today. Before we get started, again, I want to provide just a brief background on who I am and what I do. And of course, I lead Leadership is Influence, which is a YouTube channel uh, that I host. And it's just been a lot of fun. I'm just early into the process. However, I'm learning fast. And a lot of it is the result of you and the support that you've provided me over the last three weeks. I'm coming up on a month for this particular YouTube channel. And uh, it's an honor to be of service to you. But my background entails uh, serving over 20 years in the United States Air Force as a military officer. And I ro rose through the ranks from a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force to a lieutenant colonel. And uh, I did everything from financial analysis to cost estimating to acquisition management, legislation, on and on and so forth. I also had one stint of duty as a Capitol Hill fellow, I worked for a member of Congress in the U.S. House of Representatives. So I have a lot of experience. I have worked with a lot of people at high levels, at executive levels, and I've led many people. And I also have had some of the greatest uh, leaders that I've followed over the course of my career. And today I lead Wealth Building Academy. And uh, it's really a educational company with a focus on leadership and leadership development. I not only have books, but I also have digital courses and I provide speeches and leadership development workshops as well. So enough about me, enough already. Uh, let's talk a little bit about you. So I put you in this position, this little scenario today, where I strictly talk about you taking on your very first leadership responsibility and duty. For example, let's say that you're leading a project for your organization. You've been tapped by the manager who have been tapped by the leader to find someone that they believe and they have confidence in that can get the job done. And what this project entails is to put, put together a sales team. And the sales team is to sell widgets. Just this example that I'm gonna use. And what you're going to have to do, you're going to have to do some sales, you're going to have to have some marketing, you're going to have some distribution. Uh, you also are going to have to assemble your team and pull them together. So let me ask you, as you're viewing this video and listening, what is the first thing that you're going to do? And then there was a pause. <laughs> I'm not gonna leave you hanging though. What I'm gonna talk about is one of the first things you wanna do is you wanna find out exactly what the objective of the project, special project is all about. Once you find out what the goals are and the objectives, then you move forward. Then you select some team members to assist you with this undertaking, with this endeavor. And you select what, who you feel are some good people that, to work with, for example, in your corporation, uh, in your company, in the organization, uh, someone who has a sales background, someone who has a marketing background, someone that handles logistics, someone that handles production or operations. And then you want to, of course, have someone that provides some oversight to you. And perhaps you're going to have an engineer on the team. So again, in this scenario, you want to assemble your team and put them together and it's gonna call on your leadership. And you have six months to complete this objective to put more widgets that are out there for your customers. And in this case, they're gonna be updated widgets, just as an example. It's not real, it's just a scenario. And so uh, one of the first things that you wanna do is you're gonna have a meeting 
a meeting of the minds. That's going to be some brainstorming. And then we're going to have to get whatever uh, tools that we need in order to get the job done. And what I mean by tools, that you may have to purchase some parts to put these widgets together. You're going to have to have an assembly line. You're also going to have to have a budget. And so you're going to have a financial expert on your team as well. And so you once you assemble this and you put you actually purchase the uh, parts that are going to be needed to, to assemble these widgets, then you'll get that production line going. And so one of the first things that you want to do is get the team together. You're going to hash all of this out, come up with some ideas, and then you're going to present the ideas that your team put together, and you're going to present it to your manager and your leader. And once you get that approved, then you can move forward. And so at this point, we're about, I don't know, maybe a month uh, down the line, and you have uh, all the, the parts to put the widgets together have arrived from the contractor that you work with, the supplier for the widgets, parts. And then you're going to have the production lot going, and then you're going to have someone in quality control. And uh, in so doing, it's going to ensure that when you get a first couple of the demos together, uh, then at that point, you can brief that up to the manager and to the leader just to let them know. And so at this point, you're about at the two month mark. And so in the third month, you are in full production. And in the meantime, while the production line is just humming along, you're going to pull together your logistics team and how these widgets are going to be delivered, um, whether you're going to be using local trucks for some of your clients, or you're going to be using a mailing system. Are you going to have them flown to different parts of the country, as an example? And uh, then at this point, uh, you are going to have another meeting. It is very important that you provide an assessment up to the management because it's one of the most important things that you can do because the management of the company and the leader, they want to ensure that what you're doing is correct and it's the proper methodology and that you don't produce a product that the clients cannot uh, use. And then at this point, our sales team and your marketing team are going to be full throttle. They're going to be out there letting the clients know, hey, we have a new product coming on. It's going to be the new widget. And this new widget is really going to help your customers to improve their business performance. And so at this point, we're at the four-month mark and you have all the logistics team all set up the marketing, you're going to have some advertising that's taking place, uh, both on television and the media, and also on social media, and you're going to really get the word out. And at the same time, you're building your list in terms of new customers that you're going to be uh, bringing on board. And again, you're balancing your budget, making sure that you have everything that you need while you're setting up the uh, accounts receivable because of the new orders that you have coming in. And uh, at this point, the sales team is working overtime. So we're in a uh, month five because we're going to get just millions of these new widgets to the customers, to the, the current customers you have, and to prospective new customers. And in so doing, your leadership, you're learning so much about leadership. Your management is able to observe what you're doing as well as the leader with the title. And so as you're going into the sixth month, when the goal time is all set up, when you're looking to achieve your goal, it's all smooth sailing. You have the uh, production line moving out. You have the trucks are going to, to, to deliver the parts. You're gonna have some mailings that are go going to go out and everything is just flowing just the way that you thought it would. And this is all possible because your leadership and your management believe in you. They have identified you as a great prospective leader in the future. We're looking at upward mobility. We're looking at a pay raise. We're looking at more leadership and development workshops, more leadership training, and uh, everything is working good. And not only that, but members of your team have also been identified because you're not gonna leave any man or woman out you want them to grow and develop with you because there are probably going to be some more opportunities, perhaps where you lead another project or one of them will. 
and you all know what to do as you're coming in with this new transformative a product for your clients and prospective new clients. And this is just kind of how things work out. I make that relationship uh, with you've had excellent success, you led the team, and then your management and your leadership, the leader by title, are going to reward you. And they you actually receive an organizational excellence award because of just a great job that you did. You, in, you maximize the human potential and you also improve your bottom line. But more importantly, now you have some of the top talent within the company. And this is really what they wanted. They wanted to be able to develop other leaders along the way. And this is why I do what I do. Leadership is influence. There's a lot of influence that were shared by the leader and the title and the manager. And uh, this is what happens to people who allow people within the organization to grow. And so there's upward mobility that takes place. And kind of what I shared with you in this scenario, this is kind of what has happened to me over the course of my life. And I'm sharing more of an acquisition type type organization or contractor, if you will, and some of the things that happen. And uh, when you have a new project such as this, uh, you want to bring in some of the, the most experienced people that you can. And then you want to bring in some of the junior uh, employees as well, because that's how you grow. That's how you increase the knowledge of the people who are on this team. Leadership, my friends, is not something that you ever want to take for granted. It's real, and it's even more real when people actually maximize it, when they look at the way forward for my organization to increase the business performance is to develop other leaders within the organization. And remember what I've said on some previous videos, that you are a leader as an employee, because if you can't be on that production line making a difference, you're doing something that's never done before in my scenario, then if you are put into a position like that, you are going to grow by leaps and bounds compared to a company or a competitor who doesn't take the initiative to help make their employees more valuable because you add value. And not only that, but you also put in place a competitive advantage. And so these are some of the type of things that have happened for me over the years working in the acquisition arena where we had to select out of, let's say, 15 contractors, prospective contractors, we had to select one, <laughs> one. And of that number, there may be two or maybe three subcontractors, depending on what type of, of product that we're talking about, a system that we're talking about. And then everything goes to work. You have your four team put together. Uh, you have the leader who is providing the oversight, the vision that he has for the organization for this specific project. Then you have the manager who handles all the workflow of all the employees. And that he's also, or she is also in a leadership position without the official title, the overall title. And then of course the employees who are also leaders in their own right and actually are the people who are being influenced by the manager and the leader with the title. And so when we look at our three-legged stool, we can see our leader, we can see our manager and our employee leaders all working as a team, a wonderful trinity that happens each and every day when it's done right. And so when you get your first opportunity to lead a team or a project, you'll have this video to rely on. But even more than that, if you want to learn more about what I do, just look at where my name is located and then look at the link here I have on Linktree. I just simply go to https colon forward slash forward slash link, L-I-N-K-T-R period E-E forward slash Paul Lawrence Van. You'll learn a lot more there about my leadership speeches, and I do deliver leadership speeches, not only in the U.S., but other countries, such as Canada. 
And I also have leadership development workshops where I have an eight module program that I provide to organizations. But the best methodology for the leadership development programs is to sign up for a year. And you sign up for a year because you get all eight modules and that modules can be delivered on a bi-monthly basis. And then uh, you can also set it up for six months. So you have a smaller window, but you'll get more content and information delivered, whether it's in person, uh, at your location, and our virtual platform. And so we have that. I also have digital courses as well, how to become a leader of influence. And then I also have a book coming out. Leadership is what? Influence. You got it. And so that's really uh, what I do. And I, what I shared with you today was a synopsis of really the type of work I've done over the years. And as I mentioned before, I not only have a, a background in the military as a military officer, and I've attended every leadership school that was offered through the United States Air Force, but also I worked two years with Mobile Oil Company. So I worked in their chemical division uh, there in Beaumont and Houston, Texas. And so I did a lot of financial work, auditing. We purchased new plants. I would go help set up the, the accounting for that. And I worked on a team there. And uh, by picking up that corporate a Fortune 500 experience, it helped me to be recalled back into the Air Force. And I applied what I learned from mobile as well. And, and that helped lead to the 20 years in the Air Force and then working on Capitol Hill. Well, that was a breadth of, of experience because I work with all departments of, of uh, the branches of the military, in addition to the Veterans Administration and many other issues that came up with constituents, et cetera. So when it comes to leadership, uh, when you think about leadership, I wanted you to think about me. I'm no, known as Mr. Leader of Influence. Uh, I just recently was interviewed uh, by uh, several uh, media outlets uh, one happens to be the New York Business Now, and then there were many others. And so if you want to learn more about that, uh, you'll be able to uh, do so. Uh, just send me an email at info at paulvanspeaks.com, and I'll be glad to share that with you. And you can also find me out on Facebook, out there on Twitter. You'll be able to find it on Twitter. You'll be able to find it in LinkedIn as well as Instagram. And uh, I just like to share uh, what I know, my knowledge, my experience, expertise, and, and my abilities that I have as well. So uh, for those of you who are new uh, in terms of just leaving college, leadership is your friend. It's not something to frown on and it's something to embrace because once you obtain those leadership skills, qualities, and abilities, there is no one that can touch you because it's such a unique opportunity for someone to uh, be very competitive with the organization they work with. And it's one thing to be called a leader, but it's another to know what to do when you're in a leadership position or have a leadership role. And uh, this particular video here will help you to better understand the process. And this is just a little bit. I'm just sharing a little bit. You know, just, just, we call this an appetizer, if you will. Because once I get into the leadership development side of things, things really open up for you. Things, I discuss things such as hiring new talent, uh, leadership through coaching. And I talk about how to conduct a one-on-one -on -one, uh, conference with an employee and many, many other uh, insights that I can provide from a leadership development uh, perspective as it relates to workshops. So I had a great time today and I hope that you did as well. As I always state, my time is up and I thank you for yours. And I, I really appreciate all that you're doing. I'm almost a month into my YouTube channel here, Leadership is Influence. So you can go to Paul Lawrence Van, Leadership is Influence and you'll see all 22 videos. I think this is the 23rd. And uh, at this point, I have over 1,000 subscribers in less than a month. I have close to 3,100 viewing hours, so I'm getting close to 4,000. And then once I reach that amount, I will uh, start uh, 
putting ads out in terms of uh, this particular YouTube channel. Uh, it's a joy for me to share this information and content with you. My goal for you is to become the best leader you can be and more importantly, ultimately to become a leader of influence where you help develop others within your organization on your staff to become better leaders and leaders of influence. Have a great day, everyone. Again, Paul Lawrence Van. Enjoy your day, and I'll see you on the next video with Leadership is Influence. Have a great day.